Good morning, guys. It is not even 7.30, I don't think, in the morning. And um, can you say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. We're hanging out in my living room. It's still kind of dark, as you can see the TV's on, and we're just, I'm sitting by the window. I rearranged some things so that my Christmas tree could fit right there. So I'm in front of the window, which is actually really nice and makes it easy for filming. Well, last night I was thinking about some things, and then this morning I got up and I was thinking about this like nonstop. It was super, super heavy on my heart. And I don't have any makeup on or any kind of anything going on in my face, so. I'm not gonna say forgive me because this is the way that I look and I'm okay with that. <laughs> but that's why I look a little bit different today. You are playing your Elena guitar. You're yeah. right. All right guys, so I wanted to um, talk about kind of how I try not to feel inadequate or not good enough as a mom and as a woman and kind of my journey in that. Anytime I do a video like this, I want you guys to remember that this is not me coming on here and being like, this is five simple ways to be a perfect mom. This is five simple ways to have all of your crap together. Like clearly that is not what this is about. This is me being on a journey and just sharing with you guys where I'm at just like friends do. And um, it's always helpful when I hear what other people are going through or what they've learned or what they're learning. So I wanna do the same thing with you. So um, I have found, I guess, the importance of protecting my heart and guarding my heart. For me personally, that means that when I'm feeling vulnerable, when I am uh, feeling less than, I have to be intentional about what I surround myself with about what I watch, who I'm with, who I'm around, um, those kinds of things. If I find myself constantly being triggered by someone or I find myself second guessing my parenting style or my worth as a person, as a mom, when I'm around someone, then I definitely um, distance myself because I protect my heart. It's not beneficial for me to feel that way. Whether it's them or it's me or it's a mix of both of our issues, you know, and it triggers me, um, I have to pull back from that because I need to protect my heart and I need to um, not put myself in situations where I'm constantly triggered, you know? <laughs> this is my kid. This is Jude. He's always climbing, you guys. He's always climbing on stuff. Hi, he's always climbing. You say hi? Hi. You say hello? Hi. Um, another thing for me is what I'm viewing on social media is so, so huge. No, you can't have my coffee. Daddy. I found that the more I spend on Instagram looking at other people's houses and lives and kids and um, all of that kind of stuff. Guys, no, 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 no. All right, you guys, my time is limited. Everyone's starting to fall apart because mom's got something she's trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up if you guys feel me. But anyways, I found that even like homeschool stuff, even um, I was watching like homeschooling videos, homeschooling curriculum, day in the life of a homeschooler, those kind of videos. And um, I was feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing that with my kids. Fiona's not where that four year old is at or we're not learning that, maybe I need to be learning that. And it was just like this vicious cycle of comparison and I didn't realize it until I was like already in the depths of it, I guess, how much it was affecting me, like how negatively it was affecting me. And I'm not saying that videos like that are bad by any means. I feel like we're so lucky as this generation to be encouraged and to be able to get inspiration from things like Pinterest and hearing what other moms are doing and watching their cleaning routines and those kinds of things. But I guess the biggest thing is just to protect your heart and guard your heart and if you feel vulnerable if you feel insecure if you feel like you're second guessing yourself then pull back and take care of yourself i feel like sometimes we can throw ourselves in social media and we almost self-sabotage you know because we already feel like crap and then we go look on pinterest at all the things that we can't do you know so just be kind to yourself and be patient and accept where you're at and who you are and know that that's good enough I'm saying this to me just as much as I'm saying this to you guys this morning. This was just so heavy on my heart that I felt like someone needed to hear this. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this today. It probably won't be too edited. My kids are going crazy in the background, so I'm going to have to edit some of that out just because 
I'm not that mean. I'm not going to put that on the internet. <laughs> but I love you guys. I hope you have a good day. And um, I'm praying for you always. Happy Thanksgiving. 